Today we celebrate the 23rd Sunday in ordinary time. And the readings of today, are, they are the best for me, especially the gospel. I, I wrote my thesis on the gospel of today, that on that part whereby if, if you sin or if you wrong your brother, go and do this. So I, my thesis was, was, was written from that perspective. So I love re- things about reconciliation. Last Sunday, we heard the prophet Jeremiah complain to God about what he was undergoing. And today, Prophet Ezekiel gives the answer which he would have given to Jeremiah. And he says that, I have appointed you watchmen over my people. You must warn them of their sinful ways. Jeremiah is giving us, Ezekiel is giving us authority that we are a watchman. Some people want to say, no, I, it's not me, but it's a responsibility for each one of us. The day you are baptized, you are made a prophet. And if you are made a prophet, then you cannot keep quiet. You have to announce the gospel. And he says, warn them, but do it in a loving way. It is our duty and responsibility to help one another. No one should perish in our eyes because if we are quiet about it then we will be answerable for not helping a brother or a sister and there are ways we can participate in sin in sins of others how can we do that we can do it by counsel by command by consent by provocation by praise or flattery, by concealment, partaking, by our silence, or by our defense of the hill that is done. The gospel of today gives us the principles of reconciliation. And this means that even Jesus knew that conflict are inevitable or the part and parcel of relationships, families, and communities. So these conflicts, they are inevitable. You can't, you can't avoid them. Most fam- I know we come from families and I know you know what I mean when I talk of conflicts in our families. But Jesus says that we can resolve this conflict amicably. It's all about understanding. Jesus proposes as the first principle, dialogue. And it has helped my two brothers a lot. Dialogue. He says that when we wrong someone, go and be reconciled between the two of you. If the person cannot listen, involve an elder or a friend. I have put it in my own words. Involve an elder. An elder can be somebody above your age or below your age, but somebody you respect. For us, those are elders. Elders is not about age. Elders is about somebody who is respectable. That's what for us we call elders. That's why I said you can involve an elder or a friend. If it doesn't work, 
tell the church and I get a lot of this and sometimes I'm very happy to deal with it. It's not easy but you know I'm sitting there as a church I'm not myself. So when you bring your conflict you're just you are not speaking to Father Kibaki by that time you are speaking to the church. So don't bring your argument to me. If anyone cannot listen to the church then he says that treat him the Bible says Gentile tax collector, but I would, I would say treat them like a pagan. But unfortunately, most of the time, or most of the times, we neglect these basic steps and we go straight to treating them like tax collectors, you know? You wronged me, I'm done with you, I would never want to see you again, you are done with the person. Most of the time, that's what we do. Or you have a conflict with somebody, instead of reconciling, you come to this box here. You know what I mean? Hello? <laughs> you come to this box. No, this box is not meant for that. It's meant for our hearts. When you wrong somebody, try to reconcile to this person before going for confession, that's what I call the box. This box doesn't heal the person you hurt. This box is for your heart. So if you have wronged somebody, be humble enough. Call this person, try to reconcile, reconcile with this person. It's not easy to face somebody you have wronged. Yes, I know some people, they say, Father, we should reconcile ourselves with God. Yes. It's good to reconcile ourselves with God, but we have also to understand that when somebody wrongs us, our hearts are heavy because of that person, not with God. And we need to put our hearts into peace. Then we come and tell the Lord, God, forgive me for what I did. The feeling of guilt and in our conscience does not go. And that is why you find most of the people confessing the same thing over and over again because you are not able to handle it the way it's supposed to be handled. You began from the top instead of beginning from the first step. When someone truly approaches you seeking reconciliation, we are also called to soften our hearts. It will take a lot of effort and energy for somebody to come to you and ask for forgiveness. Please, if ever somebody ever come to you to beg you for forgiveness, don't start asking them a lot of questions. Imagine if you come for confession and you say, Father, forgive me, I did this, and I say, no, why did you do it, you know? It, it, when the person is coming for reconciliation, the person has already, you know, has already put this thing, is, it, they want just to put it away. It's not a time to question them. It, it takes a lot of energy to do it. And I believe... Each one of us, you have ever wronged somebody. And you know how difficult it is to go to ask for forgiveness. I think those who are married, it's easier to ask for forgiveness from your wife or from your husband, right? You just forgive me, right? It may not be as easy as it look. When we ask you for forgiveness, let it be from the depths of our hearts done with love. Love conquers everything. Sometimes we want God to forgive us, yet we are unable to do so to our neighbor. Today, I request you, if you have ever wronged somebody, if in your family you are like my two brothers, 
take this opportunity. Just go and call. If you have a brother or a sister you have never called for centuries because you had some disagreement, today go and make that phone call. And, and I know you have nothing to tell them. Just tell them, Father Kibaki told me to call you. I think that's a very good basis of starting that discussion. And then I believe the person will ask you, why did he tell you to call me? Then you say, okay, the readings of today are about reconciliation. And the person will understand where you are going, right? See, I give you some tips. St. <laughs> Paul to the Romans says, we can only succeed in search for God if we succeed in the love for others. All the commandments are summed up by our love for God and love for our neighbor. Let us pray today that God may give us the courage to ask for forgiveness every time we wrong others and strengthen us to forgive those who have wronged us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.